The main frame of this video is pointed at to understanding embodiments, you know, frameworks. And I had a speech impediment when I was a kid. Uh, I pronounced my R's as W's. And then little did I know that in New England, this is commonplace. And so the very problem that I was being brought out of class told that I had was me being uh, more conformed within the society. Uh, but they kept that criterion aside. But aside from that, within the frameworks of uh, designations, you can have yourself strings, you can have yourself weavings, and origami. All these things have really similar attributes and would make it so as that within atoms are flavors of quarks and these things are inside of its nucleus. And so the more that you can render out and read up on those things, it's easier to determine. And so it's also easier to determine when things are good as opposed to when things are trying to beat around the bush and be bad, it's easier to spot uh, stuff that sticks out like a sore thumb. Those these things because I uh, not only am a late bloomer, I'm like used to holding off until I know it's safe. Stomp it real quick. Uh, Telltale signs of late bloomer. The amount of like hair, for example, I'm grown out my, my hair. hair and didn't cut it in a certain shape early because if you cut it in a certain shape while it's longer, it would be more uh, arranged as opposed to cutting it early in a specific shape and letting it grow out. It's just a better design if you have a clearer format. Lo and behold, did I know I was starting a new job and for first impressions, having your hair cut above your ears is more preferable because it's more tasteful. Even if you have to wear a hairnet, when you take it off, uh, the cat's out of the bag. I'm a proponent of QED. There's gonna be antimatter and that is, of course, like an annihilation of a really strong property, Draw a cross section, two diagonals, that of which can be represented greatly in two spirals, even though it's one component, it has two fixtures, perfect perpendicularity. And that's such good news that like, is pertaining to something that is inertly not effective. So you're gonna have to show like a landscaping of, you know, just a well-rounded uh, good in nature, but the double standard of Nowadays, uh, nature is being bombarded with data centers and then um, experimental technologies. Deterministics. Uh, if you have conquered the entire world, it would look as though the sky were purple. And here's why. In Mortal Kombat, there's a nether realm. And this has different... Uh, realms, of course, the, the, the um, atmosphere is purple. And so when you've got that outlook, you're thinking, well, how the hell could that have been? Mortal Kombat takes place within uh, the races there have been around much longer than us. So we're putting up our data centers. To them, that would be as though just one soul chamber are saying, well, what the hell would the soul chamber and a flesh pit is one thing that they have. And so if you put two and two together, that's basically like a hybrid data center if you connected all of them and multiplied it by 12. Now, why would that even occur? Well, there is about four realms. And if you had complete control of the entire earth, you'd be able to determine 
everything before it happened. And so in order to have that ability, you'd have to know not every single material thing. See, the supply chain is based off products and products are made of materials, of course. When you shut down pipelines and you cancel uh, fossil fuels, you're uh, having more and more deterministic ability over the product uh, supply chain of the entire world. And so when it's a uh, fair trade, uh, it's gonna be the opposite of shutting stuff down because you're able to have more um, randomness and that's how seeds grow. If you're gonna determine like a tree and you're not allowed to see it, if the tree has pine cones, it's gonna be planning to spread seeds everywhere. But if it's not a tree yet and it's germinating and you get the mix up between the spreading of seeds from like conifers, pine cones to just a germinating seed before the tree is even a full one, well, you would be full of BS. And that's why I'm trying to X out the BS so the BS gets X'd out. But back to if you conquered an entire planet, well, you would want to know everything, wouldn't you? The Mr. Smarty Pants, the know-it-all. So you can't have uh, deterministics over all the particles everywhere because that would be uh, you playing God as knowing the backside of materials. So the best thing you can do up besides that is know all the uh, red and blue shiftings of each particle. You know, when giant things inside the cosmos are moving around, they have a shadow of red or a uh, outlining of blue around it, meaning it's coming to you or going further from you. And if you had a mirror, uh, much like all these low orbiting satellites do, you know, that's what, like a crown in the nether realm, there's a crown and that crown is able to uh, be of a supercharge. I guess it's like all the satellites together, if they all made one giant mirror, then you would have a shading of green. But then within that green, knowing all the trajectories red and blue shiftings of any material around the atmosphere and so red and blue together are purple and then if you mirror that purple it would be more transparent and so that's why the atmosphere in the nether realm would always be purple uh, and then the increase of uh, like scrubbers not being used properly. The scrubber is something that would uh, disinfect pollution, but then if that is not like in effect in half the countries uh, because they claim to be third world countries while having uh, these massive things go up and bio labs uh, that may or may not be leaky you know, there's not a stronghold on these things. And so when those are thrown in the mix, uh, it gives leverage to like a circle being closed, but acting more ellipsoidal, but the edges on an ellipsoid in a closed loop circle can be made uh, infinitely small so it looks smooth if you've got such a strong one-sided mind frame that it's only seeing the circle from that point and the, so the opposite side of the ellipsoid the other point on the closed loop circle would be hard to see because you'd be looking at the direct circumference of the other end that would be uh, an interplay of how like antimatter could landscape and always be devoid um, of truth if subjected in the worst way. And so the outlining of the entire cosmos, if it had its backside not able to be seen, which is true because we can't see past the cosmic micro radar of background, but then claiming that you can is uh, the pertaining of that notion.